The players who have admitted to various contraventions of the code and have been banned are John Symes, Ethi Mbalati, Pumalela Machikwe, and Tami Solekile. The banning of these four players follows lengthy investigations and the previous imposition by Cricket South Africa in January 2016 of a 20-year ban on former Proteus, Lions and Titans player Gulam Bodhi. After Bodhi had admitted charges of con contriving or attempting to fix matches in the 2015 Ram Slam T20 Challenge Series. Bodhi acted as an intermediary for international betting syndicates, approaching certain players with a view to engaging in fixing activities during that competition. Each of these players, each of these four players, have admitted to various contraventions of the CSA Anti-Corruption Code and have been sanctioned as follows. Jean Symes, formerly contracted to the Lions, has been banned for seven years. Pumalela Machikwe, formerly contracted to the Lions, has been banned for 10 years, of which three years has been suspended. Eti Mbalati, formerly contracted to the Titans, has been banned for 10 years. And Tami Solekile, formerly contracted to the Lions, has been banned for 12 years. The bans prevents the players from participating in or being involved in any capacity in any cricket match or cricket-related activity other than as authorized anti-corruption education or rehabilitation programs. All four players have accepted their bans, which will come into effect on 1st August 2016. I think we owe it to those men and women who genuinely put their effort into the sport uh, to make sure that we're properly enter entertained and that the score on the score sheet that we see is the, the result of genuine effort by men and women dedicated to the sport. It would therefore be inappropriate and utterly be inimical to the spirit of the sport to have people who um, come in to falsify or attempt to falsify what we see on the scoreboard. I don't believe that corruption is uh, unique to any uh, particular race or creed. Uh, you can go across the world, you've seen what has transpired. Uh, bookmakers will, uh, will attempt to corrupt anybody that they uh, believe they can get to. Uh, and I think all players need to be uh, very vigilant about the risks of corruption. We are determined to make a contribution towards making sure that the integrity of the, of the sport is, is maintained. And, and uh, we hope that there won't be a similar uh, press conference. Everything will be clean and perfect. Uh, but then this is the world. Prevention is better than cure. Um, we're fortunate that by virtue of the education that had been conducted by the by SACA and, and Cricket South Africa, uh, that some players had come forward uh, and alerted us to what was going on. Um, sure, we'd look to see how we can improve um, in making sure that it actually never happens.